You've tuned into the Crew Roundtable Podcast, entertaining talk on news and current events. Join us online at crewroundtable.blogspot.com and follow us on Twitter at Crew Roundtable or take us with you by subscribing to our podcast on iTunes or by adding our podcast feed to your favorite podcatching app. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode two of the Crew Roundtable. We're here again for your entertainment and our personal opinion. Introducing everyone at the table, to my left, we have Big V. Yeah. To his left, we have Tito. <laughs> this isn't the barn show, like... <laughs> Across from Tito... We have Breeze. Oh, thank you very much, champ. Much appreciated. Welcome, Welcome to the table. <laughs> Welcome to the table. And finally, last but not least, JR. Welcome. Thank you, champ. It's a pleasure as always. Always to have you. Oh, it's always good to have you here. So. I, know, I feel open. left out now. He, did, he said nothing about us. Don't you feel left out, Tito? <laughs> it's not like you gave him something to work with. He, he just grunted, grunted like a like mule, a mule no, 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 on the mic. Tito. That was Tito. <laughs> I just cleared my throat. <laughs> Big V, this is your first warning. Yellow card. Let's, yellow card. Let's get let's get on topic here. So for today, again, this is a big uh, topic for those who live in Ontario. It's Rod. Wait, is it just Ontario? Rogers is uh, are they outside of Ontario too? I would only talk about other in Ontario. Just, other than the cell phone, uh, I don't think so. Rog- Rogers is a big telecommunications company here. Cell cellular service, cable service, and even sports Internet, service. Television, television, Internet, television, Internet, television. television. Cable, cable services, services. Yeah. magazines yeah. nationwide. Yes, yes. they. Oh, they uh, uh, I need my Chatelaine. <laughs> <laughs> just, just use the texture texture app. Texture app. Yeah. Okay, that's a warning to both of us. We're not plugging Rogers on this. Oh, we are not plugging. But we are going to discuss. Who wants to open up the topic here? Are we, uh... Reese? I'll go first on this one. Go ahead. ahead. You have the floor. Okay, so amongst the many things that Rogers Communication does that cheeses me off... Even uh, even after the death of Ted and him still managing to, to, you know... I, cel- I celebrate that day every year. It's, be- it's better than Christmas. It's better than Christmas. Try to contain the morbidity. Uh, no, wow. So some of the things that this company does is unbelievable to me. But I think that they are also in cahoots with Canada Post. And I base it on this. So I called Canada Post. Mm-hmm. And I have a sticker. I have a marker on my mailbox that says no junk mail. So I don't get any junk mail in my mailbox. But what still manages to come through are the plain white envelopes from Rogers. This is to residents of the address? Not even to the residents, just a plain white envelope. Oh, with the, the last window. one I got. The last the one window. I got was plain white. Or plain, else it does say resident. Plain yeah. white. They used to say that. Yeah. Then they changed to plain white so that you don't even know what it is. You open it, bam, add from Rogers, screw you assholes. Okay. They still manage to find a way to bombard me with all their crap. I've cut that company out of my life entirely. And they still find a way for the post office to deliver that information directly to my mailbox. And for that, I say both to them and to Canada Post, I give you a hearty screw you. You know, if they would have fund the post office... I say more power to the Apple. Better stuff. than me funding. Exactly. Right? Better than better, better than uh, better than we. I stop. I was having to fund it with a tax raise. What are you talking about? Well, they're paying for that. The mail. That mail is paid for. They're not. The, the, the government is paying. Is, is paying the post, post, post office Congress. isn't delivering delivering that money for that mail for but free. But are they paying them more to disregard my no junk mail? Maybe. That's a fine question. It's a right? good question. Are they but I mean, it's more, more than not paying them at all if they were to not deliver it. Is, is, is Canada can... Post bound legally to adhere to the sticker on your mailbox? It's a service that they offer, oh. and we take advantage of it. It's a, so you can... You um, call it's them, on their website. You call them and you up, could... and you say, I don't want any junk mail sent to my mailbox. Do you have to pay anything for that? And for, Okay, so let's take a step back. For people who aren't <clears throat> aware, some people may get mail delivered to their house. Okay, 
I don't. The area that I live in, we have something called a super mailbox, where it's a collection of mailboxes at the end of the street. So when the post office or when the, when the postal delivery person comes, they can deliver to you know 30 houses at once or whatever it is, right? Well, when I was there checking my mail, the postal uh, the postal person came, and before I had like a magnet inside my box that said no ad mail. Okay, the guy told me you don't you don't need that because we've already got you flagged, and he pointed out to me that there's a sticker. Yes, when they open circle. up, yeah, when they open up the 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 large door so that they can put the mail into all the individual boxes. Next to my address, next to my postal box, there's a sticker so they know not to give me any mail. So I don't get yeah. pizza coupons. Because I don't get McDonald's coupons. That all comes in a different, mm. uh, in a different uh, package or that they carry with them. And they just, after and they, they do the regular mail, they, put they go in. back and they grab all the ads yes. that the companies have paid for and they just boom, 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 boom into all the boxes that don't have the circular So box. how does the plain white Rogers envelope get into my mailbox? That's an excellent because question. I think I think simply because it is in an unmarked envelope uh, that now they, what they, they do can't is have either difficulty either trying to now hold on differentiate some, between that and you know advertisements and so forth. Okay, now some mail does get through because if it's addressed mail, so even if it's uh, even if it's advertisement, so for instance, I give to a particular charity, yes. right? The charity will put you on a mailer. Of course. Right? The charity will send off a letter to you, but it will say Your name. in the top, even even more, it'll say in the top where the postage is, mm -hmm. it will say addressed mail. So you can look at that the next time if you get something. That stuff will still come through, okay? Because in some in somehow, some way... I've authorized that to come to me because I either gave to the charity yes. or whatever the case may be. There's an affiliation between you and them. But I can see that, right? Plain white envelopes that we all know are ads are coming into my mailbox. I'm pissed off about it, and I want to call Rogers for their bullshit. <clears throat> Stop sending me this crap. Okay. I cut you out of my life. I have no services from you. I don't want any services from you. Leave me alone. This they, goes right out to Rogers. They should leave you alone. Okay? They should. You're right. Here's the test. I'm going to mail you a white envelope. What and do you I'm going to put junk mail in it. <laughs> If you get it, <laughs> what are you talking about? If you mail it to me, I'm gonna get it. No, it's an address piece no, of mail. Let's address dude, the mail, dude. dude Rogers. The, what those are you? Have nothing oh. written on them, dude. They have nothing written on them. They just what have a postage you? stamp. Uh, this is a warning for That's uh, what Tito. I'm do. Hold hold warning on, for Tito. On. Tito. I'm not what point are you trying to hold on? What, dude, what, what they you? won't know. What I don't. I don't see I'll a point in his argument here. Don't worry, Breeze. He's been. He's been penalized. He's been penalized. You jumped right to a red card. My, my get my get my theory on that breeze yes is that as opposed to uh, most junk mail which is considered bulk mail yes I would also almost imagine that Rogers is paying premium Extra. like act, actual postage like full price postage per envelope and that re and they, they they're probably getting reclassified as addressed because of the rate they're paying that may be a way around the system yes and if that is the case I reaffirm. Screw you, Rogers. Hey, Get out of my mailbox. There is no... I have no services from you. Okay? So there is no reason for you to send me mail. There's no reason for you to clog up my mailbox. There's no reason for you to be in my life. There's no reason for you to exist, period. Just go away. No one likes you. Take your ball and go home. Well, because you're not a customer, that would, that's actually what makes you even more attractive. They if don't know that. They don't know not, that. They're carpet bombing. They're carpet bombing with with they white know, envelopes. They know who is and is not a customer. They may be carpet bombing, but if they know an area is, is you know heavily on a lot of Bell customers, low on the Rogers customers, they know. And yeah, they're not going to address every envelope, so they carpet bomb an area with that. But you, for example, if someone's already paying them two hundred dollars a month. At most, they're going to get an extra fifty bucks. Out of someone it. paying who? Someone paying? If someone's already I a just to what you're if someone's already a subscriber to Rogers, and yes. they're paying two hundred bucks a month. Yes. Just probably another. They're not going to be able to get a whole lot more money out of them. But a new customer, they could easily get one hundred fifty dollars out of them. You know? Okay. So, so it, it is worth their flaw, while to advertise them. There's a, there, to advertise that. Okay, there is a flaw with your argument, though. Mm -hmm. 
because it costs you less money to get that $50 out of an existing customer than it does to sign up a new customer. New customers are expensive. It's true. All, all, yeah, it, is, 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 all it is is, a, uh, is an automated phone uh, dialer to call your existing customers true. and say, hey, this is what we're offering. Well, no, no, no one, no one listens to automated phone dialers. See, no, no, no. You hang no, up. No, no, I didn't say automated voice. I said automated dialer calling out to people whoever picks up first. True, but the, the thing is, new customers are locked into contracts. If you sign everything up, those introductory rates are for like eighteen, twenty-four. Months. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you yes, can't add. Yes, but Ben, it's not as if it. It, it, it must be worth it to them. A new customer is always going to be worth it to them. Oh, okay, but it's not as if I'm watching something on my over-the-air antenna, and I happen to be watching a Blue Jay game or something, and I see an ad for Rogers. You're going to be bombarded with advertisements, right? This is a service provided by Canada Post that Rogers is circumventing. One of the many things that they have screwed up on. Okay, you can go down the list of blunders that this company has perpetrated on people. Is anyone familiar with Show Me going out of business? Yes, I'm not disagreeing with you on the quality of Rogers. I, I've got, I, I know, I've got, I've got horror stories from friends of mine. Mm -hmm. I know from one one guy from work. He was going on a two or three week trip to Italy. They specifically bought a European roaming package. Oh, I can't wait to hear where this goes. Oh, this should be good. They come, they, so while they're there, it's, it was like, they pay, and now this guy got quite a lot, him and his wife may do pretty well. They, they got unlimited, you know, usage. They paid like two, two or three hundred bucks. It was not a cheap package, but it was two or three hundred bucks. They get back. Oh, God. And they get a $3,000 bill. Oh. oh. You know, they call them up. After they oh. already, oh. already arranged to pay more money in advance. Exactly. So the wife had to call oh. up Rogers. She... Just chewed them out. First, she said, "Oh, we don't see it on your system." Here's the confirmation. She, she was ready for these guys, and I think they ended up giving. I think they ended up uh, eating the original cost. Like they want to. They, they they gave them. The, not only did they reverse the charge, they ate the three hundred dollar the three hundred dollar original price that of course, they paid. To begin so what was the hell was the point of them calling and arranging it in the first these place? These are telecommunication guys. They do not forget to send you a bill. How could they not remember? I'm pretty sure they, they didn't forget to charge them the $300. Oh, no, no. Uh, I guarantee that you that sure. wasn't forgotten. That went through for sure. But to forget to apply it to your account, I, I've never <laughs> seen but anything like that. the whole like purpose that. of the call. <coughs> that was the whole purpose of the call before, yeah. before, before going away. Totally. I, in agreement. This is this is the stupidity of this company. Because they, bet, they gamble that a certain percentage of people will just pay the bill. Which a lot of people do. And that's where they win. They're, they're playing the odds. that they're, they're, they're playing our laziness against us. Like, oh, now in this case it was $3,000 might have motivated it. Sometimes they play it so that it's extra 20 or $30. Uh, like if you paid 300 bucks and then you got dinged $20 for the roaming, then they pro they pro they're going to win 20 bucks. I, I would imagine $3,000 is not going to, no one's going to bend over for that. They operate as a virtual monopoly. Other monopoly. Yes. The term is oligopoly. No, yes. they're the only cable service in town. No, Bell also uh, Bell. Bell, TV. Bell is not cable. I'm is saying it, they TV are, is TV. It doesn't matter if it's, it's not, cable it's or it's satellite. It's not TV is TV because your house. There's also comes, Shaw. There's also Shaw. Your house comes with a built-in cable outlet in it. It also comes with telephone lines running to it. Yeah, it comes with. And the then telephone. you also have Shaw. What Shaw? What do you, what do you mean? You also have Shaw. I don't Shaw is another cable based. Shaw's uh, not around here anymore. Shaw is, Shaw not, is still Shaw. in Ontario. Maybe. You know they're what? not we, here. Yeah, not around here. No, they're not here. In the in and uh, Champ, I'll leave it to you to tell people where we are. Gentlemen, let me remind you that we are in Ontario, and in this GTA region, it's Rogers. There is no, there's no one else. They operate as a virtual monopoly because there is no one else I can go to to buy cable TV. Coaxial cable. Coaxial yeah. cable TV. Exactly. There's no one else that I can go to to buy. Okay, but. So what, what, you what, 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 would you, what, would, what would you call the service, the television service that Bell offers? Just out of curiosity, what do you classify that? What do you mean? What would I classify? It's it's, it's a competing service that you, it, you still pay yeah, to get a channel. It's, it's, it's a, a competing. Cable it's it's a, just because it's a different wire doesn't make it any different. Okay, but no, that makes all the difference because you have to get a technician to come in and set up your Bell TV, right? 
right? A technician has to come in and, and set up your, your cable. But it's too. but it's different infrastructure. Right? But the, for the same product. It's the same product. Yeah, exactly. It's a different structure. It's not the same product. That's why I call it an oligopoly is because you have Bell. Okay, but it's not the same product because there are different channels and different services that are offered from each company. Okay, fair. Bell yeah, I mean, offers that, that you part, things yeah. that Rogers doesn't and Rogers offers you things that Bell doesn't, such as yeah. that show me bullshit. Well, it okay? doesn't matter. Show me you or can't whatever. Get Bell, show me. What's Bell's version? Yeah, Isn't it Crave TV? Yeah, names. Bell has Crave TV. It's, but they have different, different names. they have different names, different pricing, and different shows. The content is different. Yeah, and every channel I can't in the States go. offers different shows, different shows. Yes, content. but hold on no, a second. You're it's, wrong. Still, you can still, it's still the same no, media. It's not the same. They're both media. Yeah, hold companies. on a second. You no. can still get a basic TV package from both companies. Yeah, yes. that's correct. Yes. Those are, those, yeah, at certain tiers, they differ. Yeah. But the base, the base, just television tiers are the same. Yeah. They have and they carry, both offer. They cell carry a majority they both of the same offer channels. Internet. They mm-hmm. both offer television. I'm just because even... one offers something that the other doesn't, it's still television. It's still a, a form of entertainment of 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 a, 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 um, a, a stream of media. So they, the two of them together, they form an oligopoly. No. So remember when Sun TV was a thing? Okay. Yes, okay. on uh, free uh, over the air. Then it disappeared from over the air. Yes. Who mm-hmm. carried it? I don't know. Who did carry it? Who carried it? I never because watched it. Because it. it was only on one. I never watched it. It was only on, Ro- it was only on Bell, I think. Okay, I'll take your word. Right. Right. Rogers never, didn't I never, have I, I was over the air. I didn't have any uh, okay. television from anybody. <laughs> so they are, they are competing in... Yes, I understand what you're saying. It's all TV in a general sense. But they offer different things. If you wanted something... If you wanted a show... That was on the Show Me service, right? You couldn't get that from Bell. If That's you okay. want, I want to get from Bell or Rogers. I just downloaded it. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is your warning. That's your warning. Just as I want, the crew roundtable does not promote piracy. Thank you, JR. Res- respect Thank IP you, per- JR. Res- respect IP air ownership. Thank you, JR. So the point is, I can see where you're coming from. Yes, it might all be TV. But they are offering different things for different people. True. What, what, what would you say the Venn diagram of services, the, over, the percent overlap is, though? Percent overlap? Yeah. Uh, for TV, not as much. For cell phones, it's probably one-to-one mapping. Yeah. For internet service, I'm not familiar with the Bell internet service. I know the Rogers internet service the, is garbage. No, yeah, the, the, the offerings are completely different. So, I, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not familiar. I just know the Rogers internet is garbage. Now, when it comes to internet... Okay, there's where they don't operate because there are other cable companies out there where you can go and just, you don't even have to get a technician to come over. It's just, you get a new modem or whatever the case may be and you get a new service. Yeah, but the problem is they, right? they, are, I don't have they are piggybacking Rogers okay, infrastructure. They're piggybacking Rogers infrastructure, yeah. but it's not Rogers product. They True. may be paying to lease the lines from Rogers, Yes, but you get a completely different experience working with a company and I'll, and I'll go on the record here the company I use is called Tech Savvy. Same. I've had absolutely zero issues with them. Mm-hmm. I pay them probably a little bit more than some of the cut rate <laughs> providers out there, but I've had zero issues with them in terms of when it comes to customer service and uptime. Do you use their cable so, service or their phone uh, or their uh, or their uh, cable uh, service? Cable is okay. Cable I, I, service. I use their DSL. You use, okay, so the, the, I, I have no experience with that. How's their DSL? The DSL is. Great. Uh, this is a warning to the both of you. We're staying on topic with Rogers. We're not discussing quality <laughs> of service from Tech Savvy today. My God, I think the champ is uh, okay. a little. Uh... Let me let me backtrack. I can get service from another cable provider through the cable that's already coming into my house. So I agree with you there that they are not a monopoly, and it might be an oligopoly because there's not that many cable companies that are providing service, at least big, t- big enough players. There's only a handful, but I can pick the one that I want, and there's a genuine difference of service level. But for TV, if you want cable, they're the only player. That's all I'm saying. I, th- I think, I think their, their television offerings between Bob and Rogers overlaps more than you expect. I, th- I, think, I would I agree. Think, I would agree with Benny. I mean, let's... I think we're talking maybe at least ninety percent. Yes, there's going to be differences because they're trying to compete. If they both offered the exact same uh, I mean, group of pri- uh, group of services, actually, my question is, you're going to get NBC, you're going to get Global, you're going to get Comedy Channel, you're going to get 
the Food Network. You're gonna get yeah. the weather. You're gonna get the. In terms from both. of broadcast television, mm-hmm. I think they're they're probably near on ninety nine percent. You can yeah. you have options. Some of the higher cable channels, yes, you got to pick and choose. Okay, so we went from you complaining with regards to getting junk mail from them to their cable. Where are you going with this? Are you, do my you overall have, what hatred. Is your, do you have an actual overall beef with Rogers? My overall hatred of the company in general. Just the fact that they exist makes me feel like less of a human being. My parents, that's, well, that's, my that's, parents that's where I'm. That's where I'm going. Okay, with well, this. well, Ted did die, so there was a. There was a, a you know silver lining in the uh, in the oh, cloud there. Oh, here we go again. My parents, my parents, my parents. Hey, this is coming from the man when he tried Why to bring. Why do you hate the people? Don't hate the, don't hate the, the people who run it. You got to hate the corporation. No, no, no. Because the I hate Ted Rogers. I hate Ted Rogers. The guy who came out and what was his comment with regards to NFL uh, games? Uh, oh, he laughed because the tickets were so expensive. Yes, he laughed at the common man and belittled them on television or on radio or whatever the media was used. Uh, to broadcast that, yes. his comment, yes, yeah. and that's why the fact I hate that that man because he, he basically just said you all suck. Okay, so to everybody the, out there. So here's the important question: There's obviously a lot of venom for Rogers. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling a lot of venom here. I don't have any particular love for them. Oh, a lot is an understatement. Yeah. I have buckets. I have buckets. So what are we gonna do? I have cut them out of my life, and I've done everything that I can to help other people. Same here. Cut them, cut Rogers Same. out of their own lives. I've climbed many a ladders. When it, whether it comes to antenna installation, whether it comes to promoting, as I said, the, my particular choice when it comes to internet provider, Tech Savvy, because you look at what Tech Savvy offers, it doesn't compare to anything that Rogers offers on internet. Uh, Tech Savvy, uh, of better. course, is not uh, sponsoring this. I'm talking from my own personal experience with Tech Savvy. I've, I advertise that to people constantly i let them know that they have other options for what for what they can get i try and help them realize that the stream of crap that comes through that cable into their home month after month that they pay for is not worth they it. don't get anywhere near the value for that oh but i like sports i like this i like that there's other options out there you know what though the thing with sports <clears throat> we all have we all have antennas uh, yes. uh so we're not connected with cable or bell or anything like that so we all have antennas there is a ton of football over the air over the air oh yeah just because we get all the american channels yeah so tons of football but you know every saturday every saturday for now before rogers takes it away from them true true. and puts it on one of their higher what about a blue jay game but uh i don't even (laughs) how about hockey yeah, well, well, pretty soon we can uh, hockey, hockey, hockey uh, all we night. have is Saturday night. Yeah, hockey yes. has disappeared. But, like, they've, you know, Rogers owns the Blue Jays. Yes. And I don't know if they have a stake in the Leafs, too. They have a 50% stake in the Leafs. So, you know, they, they and they take, those, they take those TV rights and they stick them on their network. Yes. It's, you know, it's like... I don't think you can only get Blue Rogers, Jays on Rogers only. Rogers, on owns, Rogers only. Rogers owns the content... And the pipe. And they abuse that power. That was my yeah. question. So, so they abuse Bell. it. So they own the cable, the physical cables. Yes. yes. Wait, what Rogers. do you mean? Like the physical coaxial cable. Yeah, they, it's all they, Rogers' they cable. Yeah. Infrastructure. They own the infrastructure. It's all Rogers' cable. Yeah. So then we're screwed. What do you mean? What, what do you mean then? Let's, we know we are. Let's say there's a new company that comes out that decides it's going to lease their cables yes. and provide you with comparable services yes. at a lower rate by some means. Well, that exists already. Mm, right. People are people are using the Roger lines. They're so, using the Bell lines and providing better service. That's so, the CRTC. To them. what to mm. what degree would that have to expand to the point where Rogers can no longer exist? Oh, I, I dream of the day that Rogers no longer yeah, exists. Yeah, but that's a dream. I guess what that I'm saying is, is that it's a dream. dream. Yeah, yeah, happen. The, I dream. Because they don't have to because because you know, vote with your dollars. Because, because they own the infrastructure. You, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can go what to other, other companies as much as you want, but if they are in the, in the end, all, they all have to pay Rogers and Bell to use their infrastructure. They may technically, always Rogers be and Bell doesn't have to do dilly squat because money's still flowing in. And they didn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the they, lines are leased. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> take Savvy, Conway, all those guys. They all pay uh, Rogers and Bell so that they can make money. So in the end, but that but but that price is wholesale. 
Mm-hmm. But I, still, I, I, understand, I understand that, but it's still money that I, I, even if even if say they didn't get that person as a customer, in the end they wouldn't have gotten any money from them at all. But if you have another company comes in as an option, and those people go with them, however, those companies still have to pay Rogers or Bell. Holy shit, Rogers and Bell are still making money somehow. No, they're not Even making though they money. didn't have those customers. But said, Rogers, it's a wholesale price. They're not making still, money. They're not losing money. No, no, no. But as much. They're, okay, they're but, zero is still a lot. It's essentially a net loss. Zero. But, no, no, but the Rogers could turn into just a wholesaler where they don't deal with the public. Mm-hmm. Right? So you're not buying services from Rogers anymore because their service stinks. Right? right. They may own the lines. They may one day hopefully just turn into a company that administers the accounting for the lines and they keep the infrastructure in place. Maintenance. But I will never maintenance. have another white envelope in my mailbox. Yeah. That's well, that's, that's, that's asking with the a white lot. envelope. Yeah. Uh, they can they can fall. just unbelievable the abuse of the system for that white envelope to come into my hands. And I see it, and I don't even open it, and I know because it reeks of crap. It sends it out a vibe. <laughs> His body resonates when he touches the so, envelope. So, <laughs> I feel it. Are you suggesting that there's collusion between Canada Post and Rogers? I'm saying I think Rogers, Rogers just gives is him circumventing enough money. the system. Hey, wait a minute. And they're just paying money to put that in there and going against the program of no junk mail. Because before, that is junk mail. That bef- is advertising. Oh, really? So hold on, Breeze. So Sorry, before these envelopes were just plain white. They had a. Did it say to the uh, resident? To the residents. Resident, it had it had a and window. It, did and it, it have an address? The, yes, it has to. It, it, or else, how would it get? So delivered? that's how they got around. So that. it would say. Oh, yeah. deliver, it used to the say residents, Rogers yeah. on the outside of the envelope. <clears throat> I think it was plain white, even with. No, yeah, no, no, no. It so it went in stages. I think right so now. So first they sent white. it out. Now it's plain white. Now it came last week. week. It ended no, up in the, the trash. One, this, the, the, trash. The, trash is trash is being generous. The, the, they sent the it stage out. before the one it is now. Sure it was it just a window fire. that said to the residents of the following address, and it got delivered. Yes. Nothing on the envelope. Just that window. Saying that. And now they yeah. even got rid of the window. I don't so it can't yeah. be addressed ad mail because right. there's no address on it. Last week, the, yeah, I got to say that. So yeah, yeah Rogers. No address. Ro- so they're saying, they're yeah, pay- Rogers is I bet you they're paying premium. Uh, yeah, they are. They're, they're paying 85 cents, cents, baby. They're paying 85 cents. Well, you know what? I, 85 I, cents? What are you talking about? That's what how much it costs to deliver an envelope, a, a mail, a piece of mail, a regular envelope. I thought it was a buck. No, it's 85 cents. I thought it was 95 buy, cents. Yeah, no, I thought it was No, if you buy a pack of uh, 10 uh, stamps, it's 85 cents. <laughs> actually, technically, for That's companies... That's a pack of 10. For companies that uh, d- that actually send out a, a wad of mail, they can get it as cheap as 65 cents, That's depending like, on the volume. Bulk. That's bulk, yeah. yeah. But it's still ad mail. But they, yeah, are, exactly. but they are paying the price of sending out it as regular mail, they can, just in bulk. They can choke on that 65 cents. They can, <laughs> they can, choke they can on do it. whatever you they want them to do, but they don't have to because they pay the money. Post has to survive. It's not going to run on its own, and I, I hardly want a tax hike to keep it running. Why does the post office have to survive? Because they because our alternative is, is uh, UPS and uh, FedEx, and they won't uh, deliver mail yeah, they're, they're as cheap, cheap as 85 cents. Yeah, they're the cheapest, what they're mail? The cheapest delivery. What mail do you need? What do you mean? Occasionally, I say I didn't mail stuff. Yeah, occasionally. It's pen pal. Okay. Magazine delivery. Jack, don't make Juan. me cut you off. It's pen pal Juan in Nicaragua. <laughs> Even Nicaraguans are rolling. Okay? I think you're being. I think you're being generous with the post office needs to survive. No, that was his word. I just said. I, I just said the alternative would charge us more. Yeah, but for the amount of time that you use it. Listen. When's the last time you mailed anything? Uh, last month. All right. So you're a frequent user of the Canada Post then? Obviously more than you. <laughs> exactly, because there's no re. I don't want to go it, off it's on been, that. It's been, it's but, been slow, but I mean, they got, if they're going to deliver junk mail, at least you know, at least it's apparent that it's junk mail and you recycle it. Mm, yes. It's not costing me, it's not but like when, I have to, it's costing me any money to deliver it. And when they offer a service and it's circumvented, Rogers is going around the system, they're just using their wallet to bully people into getting what they want, which is putting an ad in my hands. I don't want you in my house. I don't want you in my life. Get the hell off my planet. I hope you cease to exist. <laughs> that goes right to you, Rogers. So, right to you. So, so right if you were paying a monthly you. rate for that, for that service, your argument might have a little more weight. That is true. I don't think just having what a little What does it matter that thought, I pay for it? It's pointless to have the service if they're not going to think, I get you that. 
then why can't you just agree with me, Jr. Can, can't you just, why can't you just because agree? That's not how this program works. You're, you're, you're at, your level of anger is disproportionate to the cost toward to your cost. Cause. Well, no, it's your cost. It's cost. Not co- the, price, the service isn't costing no. him. This is merely one he, aspect. He has actually of my hatred. approximately. From, from his about a 95% decrease in his junk mail. Oh, it's huge. Do it. I think you're doing a good... I think you're, you, you, you've, you, you've really achieved a lot. And because one envelope's getting by that is paying money... Which is paying money into the postal system. No, no. My anger's not with Canada Post. This is merely one aspect that fuels my anger towards Rogers Communications. So don't think I'm just fixated on the one white envelope. That white envelope is a symptom of the entire corrupt nature of Rogers Communications. I think so, you have every right to be angry. Well, I'm not saying I, I'm not angry. Is there a right to be annoyed? <laughs> is there a right to be annoyed? <laughs> it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be angry. This is prerogative. Just that whole company. Now, is there anything the, else that you want to say about Rogers as a whole? Or, or are, you, are you okay with this, uh, this little spout that you had? I would like everybody... Within the sound of my voice, the next time that you get that white envelope, I would like you to take a few seconds and write return to sender on it and put it right back into the mailbox. <laughs> yeah. That's actually genius. Yeah. It has to be, if, it's, if it's addressed. It has to go back. If it's yep. addressed. And they get charged. So when you get, get a charged. plain white envelope. You have to pay for that. Right. Right. When you get a plain white envelope, write return to sender on it because who knows who sent it. There's no identification on the envelope. Right, return to sender and flood it right back into the goddamn system. I could admit this. Uh, that's pretty attractive. That's tempting. There's your call to arms, people. Do it. Thank you for that topic. Uh, unfortunately, our uh, beloved Big V is tapping out for the night. It's past my bedtime. Thank you for joining us tonight, Big V, on the Rogers discussion. Thank you all. I think we're going to revisit this and talk about OTA. Oh, we yes. must talk about OTA. Yes. Uh, and Big V will definitely be uh, at the table for that. But moving on, we're going to have a 2 for this ep- for this episode. I'm going to hand it over to JR to open up the next topic. All right, everyone. The, as, it, as everyone's probably been uh, made aware, uh, the latest iPhone 7, am I correct? Is the iPhone 7? I guess. I, I don't follow too much. I just know that they're extremely expensive phones and I'm never going to have one. So the latest, dev- the latest version of the I- iPhone 7, in addition to having almost no new features, uh, was uh, infamously announced that they were removing the headphone jack. Well, that's the Apple way, right? They take stuff away and they charge you more. True. And I'm not going to disagree <laughs> with that. Now, I, I think what really irked everyone was their explanation that it, was, it took courage for them to remove it. They, they, had, very, they had various explanations. Uh, the new waterproofing uh, of the new system uh, was, was facilitated by, by you know, removing a, an interruption in the shell. Uh, it was supposed to make room for other circuitry. Uh, you know, it, it, you know that, 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 that plug is almost a centimeter and a half. You know, and, on and the it, inside, on the inside of the That's screen. how deep it is. Whoa. Plus, plus, the, 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 plus you know, the case that it plugged it plugs into and the additional circuitry that you got to plug into the board, it takes up a fairly sizable amount of real estate. But, I mean, the phone, the, the, the iPhone 7 is also significantly bigger, bigger. than if iPhones were four years, three years ago. Is real estate really that big a problem? Other phones seem to be dealing with it, no problem. Uh, what was the point of this, of this, of this change? It, they, they, they say it's for better something, but that it's, it's, it's overall you know, in, 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 uh, in favor of the customer. They, they're trying to push everyone to Bluetooth the earphones now, but you know, what's, uh, what's your opinion on it, Breeze? So they took out the jack. Okay, and what did they put in? Nothing. Now, now the audio, either you, you use you Bluetooth th- audio or you use a jack that has their lightning connector. You have basically headphones, with a lightning connector at the bottom of it, and you plug it straight into the lightning port. I thought you said the phone was physically bigger. They are bigger because the screen's bigger. They 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 finally succumbed to, uh, and with the iPhone six, they succumbed and made larger phone, larger screen phones, because that's where the rest of the uh, the industry was moving to. 
So, I don't know if it's just me, but I have a feeling that ever since Steve Jobs died, mm-hmm. that company's on the road to bankruptcy again. I would totally agree with you. All the good ideas died with that man. And I'll give you just a slice of my own personal experience. I used to use iTunes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I had an old iPod, um, one of the old ones with like the click wheel on it or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I used iTunes to take care of all my stuff. Now, iTunes, eventually I came to see that it was pretty much bloatware on my system. But I would, every day religiously, I'd sync up my iPod because I'm heavy, heavy into podcasting. Uh, I listen to tons and tons of stuff every week. And I would use iTunes as my main podcast aggregator. And it almost seemed as if the day after he died, iTunes started to self-destruct and become more and more garbage every single day after he died. Things wouldn't sync properly. Menus wouldn't, menus wouldn't operate properly. Features would appear and disappear with each successive uh, release that came out. And the only thing I remember thinking was, this would not happen if Steve Jobs was still alive. Like, for all the problems iTunes had in the past, it was consistent. It was reliable. You knew what you were getting when you, when you used it, and it would do what you wanted it to do. Then he died, and then you get all these crazy things that start happening in iTunes. You get the watches, which I guess people bought, but then they stopped wearing them. Well, I, I, be fair, the watch was an industry trend as well. When has Apple gone with industry trends? They set the trends, right? They create whole new categories of products like tablets. Like there were no tablets before Apple invented them where they said, we're going to take a laptop and give you less and we're going to charge you more. <laughs> right? Right? So ever since, he, ever since he passed, it's as if everything that that company does just furthers them along the line to obsolescence, to being irrelevant, to just being deleted from the consciousness. They're not the trendsetters anymore. They are not the trendsetters. They're not even best in class in what they do. For podcasts, I'll tell you this right now. I use something. It's called Podcast Addict. Okay? okay. And I use it on my Android phone. Mm-hmm. This is, hands down, the best podcast aggregator that I have ever used. Ever used. And I've used a whole bunch. Because while trying to get rid of iTunes, I was always looking for some sort of alternative. Do you remember something called Juice? I think so. Or juiced. It was a, the, the symbol was a was lemon. Juiced. Yeah, I, I've juiced. heard of it. I've never used okay. it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've used, I, I used that. I used a whole bunch of other little third-party podcast aggregators. They're all kind of okay, but you always kind of came back to iTunes and you're like, yeah, it's a big program. It uses up resources, but it does everything that I want and it works <laughs> with my iPod. But now on my phone, the Podcast Addict app, I pay for this app. Oh. It's fantastic. Fantastic. I'll sing its praises up, down, and sideways. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's an example of people coming in, chipping away at the exclusivity. Okay, I mean, we got Samsung phones that are laying on fire, right? But the gap between Apple and the rest of the field is not as big as it used to be. So I just get the feeling that they're on a spiral downwards. I'm not a super tech guy, but I, that's the feeling that I get. They are no longer, for me, the gold standard of anything. Okay, I'll just jump on that last part there. The, the, the bat, Samsung's recent battery, battery issues not, notwithstanding. Um, Sa- the Samsung high-end premium... Uh, uh, Apple is an exclusively premium market phone. They don't have... They, they dabbled with the C. They, I was going to say... They dabbled with the C. the C, but that didn't go anywhere. I think they did the C program just because they wanted to prove to everybody that nobody wanted it by making a garbage phone instead of a decent quality, low-priced phone. It's, they, made, they forced it into becoming a self, self-fulfilling prophecy, and they went back to simply premium. And that was fine when they were the pro, when they were selling everybody. I'm pretty sure for the last two years, Samsung's outsold Apple consistently. The iPhone 6 Maybe outsold... Android. I don't know if I go Samsung, but Android has certainly closed the gap. Well, Android is a, is a big field. Phone per phone, yes. the, Andro- the, the, iPhone, the, the Samsung 6 outsold the, the iPhone 6. One to one. To one. They, so do you they, they think vastly you them. think everyone else is going to follow with the no with the no jack? I don't think so because uh, because the 
because iPhones have a particular crowd, and, and a lot of them, you know, they, they, they are a very audiophile crowd, what, what my theory is, what, removing the jack, I think they're trying to squeeze uh, competing phones out of the, uh, the high-end uh, earphone market, which sounds ridiculous, when, but you know, when, a, when, a, when a pair of Beats headphones... 300 bucks. $300. 300 bucks. And if you're, if you're buying a, 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 a... And Apple knows if you're buying an iPhone, you're probably going to spend $300 on Beats headphones. And if that Beats headphone only has a lightning connector on it, then they've locked you in, because now you've got now you've spent three hundred dollars on on a headphone that you cannot use anywhere else. So wait, whose who's, whose advantage is that? That's the Apple's advantage. It's Apple's advantage, by because they're not because right now the Apple doesn't it, Apple doesn't own Beats. Uh, they do. Actually, they do own Beats, but what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to force the the high end headset market to make a decision. Right now, you buy a headset, you can use it on any phone. So owning that phone doesn't force you into any kind of lock-in. When did they buy Beats? They've owned it for a year, for years it's now. It's been, uh, yeah. They, they've been slowly merging it with iTunes. But even 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 against even okay, if they well, didn't, I stopped using iTunes. Even if so they I didn't own Beats, Beats was just an example of premium headset. If now premium headset makers have to choose a plug, they either got to go. They don't want to support two. They don't want to make two or three different kind of products, right? They want. Make one product with one connector, and they're only going to support who they the, the market that the, the phone market that will support them. Right? That that makes sense because they make ridiculous amounts of money off of their peripherals. Yes, and that's that's exactly. They that. make ridic- so they've basically turned the Beats headphones into proprietary peripherals. A- Apple has always been about proprietary everything. Well, there they you don't go. Do that any- explains why they. I'm surprised. I'm actually that. even surprised they even use Bluetooth. And then come up with some sort of, you know, red tooth, you know, <laughs> going with their Apple motif and come up with a, if they could get away with coming up with a different wireless connecting system, lightning tooth, they totally would do it. <laughs> yeah, what lightning? That's tooth? a good one. If lightning they could, tooth. If they could come up with lightning Pat wireless Pat and think they could actually make money and edge edge out edge out the competition with it, they totally would. But I think Bluetooth is too. Once once the once the car market adopted Bluetooth, that was the end of the story. The mm-hmm. car market yields a significant power in 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 the audio forum. Like uh, well, it's H- one of the, it's one of few places where people still listen. A tracks didn't take off as a medium until A track players went into cars. Same thing with cassette players. Cassette players went into automobiles, and that became the dominant the, the dominant form. Once it, once the once the, uh, the the car makers like decide on an audio format, that tends to dominate. And because the the car manufacturers have all gone with Bluetooth, and they they can't they can't swap out now, they're they're gonna get themselves cut out. Significantly, you can't play if you can't if you if you buy a Lexus and I can't connect my 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 uh, my, uh, my 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 Apple my iPhone to it, or someone can't connect their iPhone to it. No one's gonna no one's gonna buy the phone. They're not gonna throw away their car. The phone decision is gonna be. Bad. You mean this dictated by what, what they have, what, what about their car? Don't they have cases that act as adapters now, where you can use your old headphones, but you got to spend money on the that's, case? That, that's 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 good. That I think that's going to wind up winding down. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a stopgap solution until you go to your next headphone purchase. Yeah. So Eventually you know, those headphones are going to break. So you don't think Samsung is going to push their audio through their USB? But then, but that's the problem. Is that you still have a different connector, right? Yeah. Well, there's always adapters. There's going to be an adapter, but I think, but adapters get fiddly the the longer the, the longer that chain gets. Mm. The, the 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 fewer connections, the better. Mm-hmm. Well, you had that happen in your car, right? Where you had to pull your dash out to fix one of your connectors. Yeah, but that was that was a car broken. No, it was, it was not that I, I wasn't daisy chaining connectors though. That's just because the vibration in the car eventually cracked the. Uh, some, some oh, I thought contacts. you had an, I thought you had an adapter on the outside that caused your connector to. No, it's it's just it's just the wire. I think the wire hanging off and, and the, just the vibration in the car just cracks yeah, some solder okay. joints. But what uh, I think what what they're trying to do is force the premium market to make a decision. And guess what? Your your universal uh, uh, headphone jack is not going to cut it anymore, and it's not going to work on our phones. So now you're going to have to make lightning connectors, and I think they're trying to push. The premium market there to to, to 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 cause you to stay with iPhones. 
Oh, that makes mm. perfect. That, that makes perfect sense. It's, been, it's it's your classic vendor lock-in. I see. I see. Well, I mean, if I end up getting, you know, the next iPhone with no headphone jack. Oh, well, you will get. You will get the next iPhone. Don't don't. But don't try and snow anybody. But, Jack. you're gonna you're gonna get me <laughs> two of them. But, but I don't see myself buying Beats headphones. No way. No way. That's fair. Bluetooth headphones aren't any cheap, are, 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 are pretty pricey now too. What's the going rate for a good quality, well, quality Bluetooth? Headphones? You can buy a crappy quality for ten dollars on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just stops working after a month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> direct from uh, direct from China. China, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They were pretty good too. The only, like the, the LED bulbs that burn out after a month. Oh, that I haven't. Uh, the only problem with I read some. I read some. <laughs> the only problem the I have bulbs. with Bluetooth headphones really is hey, now that's one more thing I've got to charge. Yeah, I, I've got. Yeah, I've got, oh, yeah. I've got to plug yeah. in the phone. Now I got to plug in my headphones. I I, yeah. I, I have a, an Android Wear watch. I gotta plug in my watch. I have to charge my watch in all the time. Mm. Now, mind you, this was I bought this off eBay for hundred bucks, so it's not. You know, it's not, I didn't invest a whole lot of money in the watch. If it gets annoying, I can just forget about it. But you know, and I, but it, the, the number of things that we're using that, that charges is getting bigger, and then anything with a battery eventually runs out unless you remember to charge it again. That's right. Whereas a dedicated headset will run for as long as your phone is running. Yeah. Yeah, you know, obviously yep. the phone is eventually going to run out of battery, but at least you only you only have to look at one phone. You only got one clock on you as opposed to two. <laughs> you, know, you have to worry about the you have to worry about what your battery battery set. And a lot of Bluetooth headsets don't even tell you what your battery level is. You know, there's no yeah, battery indicator. There's no, on it. Yeah. it doesn't tell you right on the phone. There's no meter. Some phones do. There's got to be something. Some phones do, not all of them. But uh, yeah, it's, and that's if the headset had. Is of a level that yeah. actually sends that data back to the phone. It's smart enough, yeah, yeah. You know, and that, and then again, that's a premium headset. Cheapy phones, you just charge, and then maybe they'll give you a, a, a verbal announcement in your ear once the battery is starting to go low. I, I have I have speakers that do that. that once you get to ten percent, the, 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 the it actually, charge me up, Jr. Mm, exactly. <laughs> I, it does. It's just like it I has that. I've got uh, something boombox or something where yeah. like at ten percent it's like oh, I'm not changing the batteries. No, I'm not charging the batteries. <laughs> like, yeah, very masculine voice. How about changing the charging the batteries? <laughs> oh man, I, I think I think this is just it's just a push the uh, push the market into uh, because they have no other thing about them that's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's only them. Yeah. They don't. They didn't do near field communication right. Yeah. They don't do wireless charging. No. They don't do fast charging. I guess not. I don't think. I think. I, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think the phones charge at anything more than one amp. All, all the wall. All their wall wards go at maximum one amp. No, I think they're two. Do, are they two now? Yeah. They didn't make a big deal of. I didn't hear about, a big deal about that. I know. I know the latest Android phones are all quick. I know. Well, you know what? I plugged mine in and. Um, like I can, like I can tell it's a quick, like, I mean, I don't know what a quick, how quick a quick charge should be, but if I plug it in, I know I can get some quick power, at, you know. Quick charge, based on the app, I, I, I know my phone can, can pull up about 1.8 amps. Okay. Which is a lot compared, yeah. to, compared to the previous phone I had, which was, wasn't breaking an amp. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that. Did it even charge it at all? <laughs> it, it took it took a long time. It, it, it took a considerable amount of time to even get twenty five percent. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah. I get a fifty percent charge in about thirty to thirty to forty minutes. Yeah, you should yeah, yeah. you should download one of those apps that shows a lightning bolt on your screen as it's charging. That makes it charge faster. Oh, really? It's pretty really. Cool. <laughs> no. Jeez. No, it's all those quick charge apps that are garbage. They're like they're like I don't know how many kilobytes. And it's supposed to be, yeah, this will help you quick charge your phone. And, and it just shows like that's stuff on your screen, like electrons are flooding into your phone. Oh my God, that was like, that's like the, the, the oh iPhone, that's God. like the iPhone 6 hopes where they, people were saying that uh, news report, fake news reports were saying that it built, that they incorporated microwave charging. So people were actually throwing their phone into the microwave oh, no. and their phones. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Now I'm not sure what was the hoax. If the, if the microwave ho- charging was the real hoax or people charging their phone in the mic, trying to charge their phone in the microwave was the actual hoax. Like, which part of that was the real fake story? Oh, man. 
I can't I, believe that. I can't imagine anyone's that was that stupid. It's a dangerous hoax because there's probably a little bit of truth somewhere. <laughs> Pro, I, I would imagine somebody. Dangerous. There's somebody. Someone's done. But it. I never. Someone's I never. See, the thing is, I never heard the first hoax. That's the thing. I only heard the second story about people wrecking their phone because of said first hoax. I never heard the first story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And on that note, we're going to wrap it up. This topic, the combo special, the Rogers slash wireless headphones. Um, I'm sorry. The Rogers slash uh, no uh, headphone jack. headphoneless jack. <laughs> No, wait, how do you say that? Headphoneless, headphone jackless. Headphone jackless iPhone 7. (laughs) 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 Sounds dirty. (laughs) It does. We need need Big V here to clear that up. Oh, we did, we did. Um, But let's let's send everyone off. Uh, Thank you for joining us. We've got Tito, who's been just using this. This has been an educational experience. Yeah, I was just going to say, you've got your notepad out there and taking notes on the... He's reflecting. ...the latest technology in the iPhone 7. I think Tito still uses cans and string. <laughs> <laughs> My pigeons are very tired. Yeah. More reliable. Breeze, thank you for joining us and opening up the topic for Rogers. The champ who runs the camp, once again, keeping everybody in line. Oh, as always, Jr. Thank you for opening up the headphone, Jackless. headphoneless, headphone no, jackless. headphone jackless discussion. The dirty, dirty talk. <laughs> exactly. You're very welcome. And uh, let's uh, let's close this off. Thanks everyone for listening. Subscribe, explore, and we'll uh, you'll hear from us again next time. Ciao for now. <laughs>